push the you, button. Jonathan, you, they love you. Now. Do it now. They love you. It's football. You're playing a villain in this. You yeah. like playing a bad guy, or do you even see Kane as a bad guy? He is. He is. And he is, too. That's what people don't know. That our greatest instinct is sympathy as human beings. And I think that's true about the villain. You know what I mean? The greatest villains have a great deal of sympathy. We need the antagonizers. We need the uh, deviants. You know, that's what shakes it up. Shakes stuff up. Uh-oh. I think I heard a toilet flush. <laughs> Maybe somebody lost the turtle. <laughs> well, it looks like Marvel has a Ezra Miller situation of their own going on, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Jonathan Majors, no relation to that iconic 70s dude, Lee Majors. I mean... How can they possibly be related? <laughs> the man who was Colt Seavers in The Fall Guy. Uh, I know, I just needed an excuse to throw in Heather Thomas in a bikini. I mean, it's Monday morning, for God's sake. I need to wake up a little bit. And of course, as the iconic man, barely alive, Steve Austin, the six million dollar man. <laughs> So this was big news over the weekend. Ant-Man actor Jonathan Majors arrested on assault charges in New York after a DV. I cannot say the full phrase in case, oh, you know, YouTube gets irate and angry and you can't get monetized. But this is an interesting story because it seems now people are actually coming out in full force and uh, making claims about Jonathan's reputation as an actor. So, well, <laughs> don't say you haven't been warned. Uh, Majors claimed to be cruel, sociopathic, and an abuser. And it's very interesting the people who on Twitter are crawling out of the world woodwork to make Mr. Major's life an absolute misery. Uh, A.B. Allen on Twitter is a filmmaker who has pronouns, by the way, in his bio, which again, when I see that, I think, do I really take you seriously, dude? Or do that? Uh, first tweeted the week of the release of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which stars Major as the MCU's big bad King Kang. Nobody gives a crud about about phase five for the MCU. Nobody cared about MCU phase snore, as I love to call it, is absolutely boring beyond belief. And look, Kang the Conqueror. We know they race swapped him for Jonathan Majors because it was seen as a major stepping stone forward for Marvel. But if you read the guy in the comics, he's a lot more interesting, more far more nuanced. And look, if you're gonna try and top Josh Brolin as Thanos, you're not going to do it. For me, if you wanted my interest, Disney, Marvel, bring in Doctor Doom, bring in Galactus. Those are the bad guys I want to see. Not some guy aping around, multiplying himself into, I don't know, 20 different versions of himself. And you know what? Owen Wilson apparently was going to play Kang, and then he suddenly decided, mm, that's not such a good idea. Let's bring in Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors is the industry darling. People can't stop falling about the man who loves to lick his lips more than LL Cool J on a very bad day on the set of NCIS. No. Mr. Majors has no charisma whatsoever. I think he went to the Tessa Thompson School of Drama and Full-Time Acting, and we can see how that's all turned out for him so far. <laughs> So, back to this tweet here from Mr. A.B. Allen. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a particular actor, relatively new on the scene, who Twitter has violently fallen head over heels for, who, in actuality, is a vicious, cruel, abusive human being, both professionally and in his personal life. And every new viral thirst tweet about him drives me insane. Following the news of Major's arrest, another user brought up Alan's tweet, which saw Alan confirm the tweet is indeed about Jonathan Majors. So Chateau Bunny says, now we know who this tweet was about. 
And of course, how does A.B. Allen reply? Ding, 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 ding. So I guess without saying it and using those words over and over again, we kind of guess that it's going to be bad news for Kevin Feige, bad news for Marvel, who thought Jonathan Majors was going to be this black messiah, this black Jesus Christ, who is going to save Marvel and in turn save your life. But boy, oh boy, folks, I mean, when you've got headliners like The Citizen, I've never heard of this publication, where they said his career suicide because already Twitter has gone mad. They're out there to cancel Mr. Majors in a massive, massive way. Jonathan, just... Walk away. Majors had a campaign. Of course, Majors, the Major, the Army. I mean, you can't avoid it, right? Um, yeah, the US Army have actually pulled or halted their advertising campaigns for Be All You Can Be since the arrest of Majors. Now, going back to the arrest, because I think it was Friday or just over the weekend, uh, there was an altercation between Majors and it's meant to be believed to be his girlfriend in the back of a taxi cab in New York. And uh, I think the fracas was about him getting another phone number of a woman that he met at a bar somewhere in Brooklyn. And then that kind of got out of control. So first of all, it seems that Jonathan Majors attracts insufferable females. That's something I don't have to worry about myself. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it kind of got out of hand there. So TMZ uh, laid out some great facts about what happened. And if you want to know what the actual adverts are for All You Can Be, this was from two weeks ago. And I believe this is Jonathan Major's voice you can hear at the beginning. So we'll have a quick play of this. What does it mean when people say America is a land of opportunity? It means we strive to be a nation of limitless possibilities. Exploring those possibilities isn't just an inclination. It's our greatest strength, the power. Yeah, the person that had the earrings in the army, I mean, would you really allow that? But this did make me laugh. Be all you can be. You can be fat and out of shape. You can be a man who thinks that he's a woman. You can be anything you want. Go army, go! <laughs> so, so the whole Jonathan major situation at the moment is interesting. I will say that much. For me, I'm not a fan of this guy. Not to say that I wouldn't watch a film where he gave a great performance, but from what I've seen of his acting style, it's very one note. It's very, I'm just here to read the lines and do my best, get my paycheck, and uh, I'll go off to do some more salacious things behind people's backs. So I have no real formed opinion about why this guy is being overpraised, overrated. Nobody gives a crap about King Kang in the MCU phase five going forward because that's already a dead horse on the floor. And you know what? I think that Ezra Miller and Jonathan Banks should meet up and exchange ideas how to avoid being arrested because Miller, to his credit at the moment, and yes, he's still a he who uses the pronouns to get away from the police. I can't imagine Jonathan Banks somehow getting away with pronouns with his stature and physique. Can you? So on that one, folks, if you enjoyed this quick video for a Monday morning about the glorious decline and downfall of Hollywood superstars, megastars, whatever you want to call them, super ego narcissists, maybe, leave a like below, smash that subscribe button and if i were you and if you were me you better come back for the next video